Six liters. <laughs> like a three liter fellas. Yeah, there's your problem right there. There you go. Oh, there it is. Put on our merch page, souvenir pieces of steering wheel clear coat. Do you like a piece, Paul? Nope. I had one of those ball joint poppers uh, come out and hit me in the face. It popped both sides. What? <laughs> <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to DC Motor Works. We're back here for, we'll call it episode two of the Baby 500E or E420. Paul is over here looking frustrated because he just spent 10 minutes trying to get the trunk open, but it's open now. So what we're gonna do today is uh, throw a battery in it. We're gonna throw a center link in it so that the uh, steering doesn't fail on us while we go down and give it a wash. So Paul thinks this is one of his buddy's old cars that we just happened to buy by circumstance. So he's trying to get a hold of him now to see if that uh, that is the case. But here is our new center link, which was uh, not very easy to find, actually. Uh, there was only about three left in stock. And uh, Paul is going to be really excited to work on a car that he's probably worked on before already. Right, Paul? Yep, I did suspension and put a bunch of fake Brabus crap on it. And uh, I got a Mako paint job and... Are you ready to replace the cats? Because they seem like they're kind of clogged. Ready for some high flows or? No, I'm sure they're fine. Oh yeah, they're always fine, right? Yeah, Bill Steen's H&R's. And then I think it got big brakes. Big brakes? Uh, it has it, no brakes right now. No, they got removed because he's, I put the, uh, this might be them. Yeah, there's no backing plates. Yeah, so it got the ML. Or sorry, the S430 brakes with the ML430 rotors. Oh. And then it got uh, brake lines. So but, look at that. We need confirmation, but he's 99% sure this is his buddy's old car. Yeah, or these are the silver era ones that I also sold him. So. That's probably <laughs> why it's broken. Huh. That, or he put like 120,000 miles on it <laughs> driving up and down the East Coast. So this was his favorite car. <clears throat> That's pretty funny. What a small world. Yeah. Are you gonna are you gonna put that on? I've never put one of these on before. This might take a whole bunch of time. A whole three minutes. <laughs> are you sure it's bad? Oh, I'm pretty sure. You, oh yeah, you weren't here for this. He wasn't here for the last episode, so uh, he needs to uh, get up to date on the condition of the. Uh, do Do we have to have a new nickname for it now? Or is baby 500E still sufficient? I mean, I, you'd call it the fake Brabus. <laughs> Fraudus? <sighs> Maybe? Uh -huh. the, only, the other problem too is it used to have Brabus wheels on it that I actually bought from him. That made the car look a lot better. Well, maybe you need to put them back now. I got to reach out to the guy <laughs> and see if he's still got them. Oh. Yeah. That'd be so funny. Let's recreate the Brabus mobile. Is it a five liter? Cluster says it's five liter. No, but it did get a lot of goodies back in the day. <laughs> so. You want to see? You ready? You ready for this? You, you ready? Uh, Pay attention. Yep. yep, yep, yep. Oh, yeah, there you go. There's your problem, huh? Yeah, there's your problem right there. You want me to shake this one for you, too? Yeah. Is, uh, there you go. Oh, there it is. Is your wheel locked? Probably at this point. I mean, the, yeah, we need to pop that loose. I can do that. You ready for this? I'm not my steering damper. Huh? I could help you, but you seem right at home. Those never go bad, I'm told, but pretty Ooh. sure that's bad. I'm sure you got one floating around. Right? <laughs> yeah, I do actually. <laughs> just go ahead and toss it in there. Ooh, dude. You don't get freebies. Claude got enough out of this hey, one. We just want to make sure it makes it down to the car wash, okay? Did you do timing chains in this one? <laughs> Sounded a little rough when I started it up. No, I think I did like do what? water pump and stuff. <laughs> yeah, just, just in case. I, th I think he's gone. Where's Evan? I haven't seen this car in a very long time. How long? Uh... Yep, that got replaced. 
I think it's been over 13 years. Wow. Or more. It's definitely more beat. We'll say the paint definitely let go. Uh, if it was really a Mako paint job. Yeah, I mean, I think you only paid like 1500 bucks for the paint job back in the it, day. It looks about that quality. Yeah. Whole car? Yeah, whole car. Except you, because you put it Apparently, back. yeah. Yeah, so I would have done all of this suspension and all of this steering back in the day. Well, I'm sure it's been many miles since then. Yeah, I mean, at least, like I said, at least 100,000. Because he drove the crap out of it. I meant to buy one of these. I do think I have one. Is it any good? I mean. So you just tell Claude he can buy it back now, put a paint job on it, and he'll be uh, good to go. I'm not sure this is the level that he uh, would require. You don't think so? Man, just wait. We'll, we'll get the pressure washer on it. It's going to look like brand new. Well, the trick is blowing off all the Mako paint, and you'll get back down to the Mercedes-Benz paint. Ooh. Uh, what did it look like before the paint job? Uh, sun faded and beat. Oh. So the same. Sun, same, yeah. Did he have bay room tires on it? No. I can't remember anything else that was falling apart on here. I do remember seeing it on uh, Facebook like four years ago. Oh, yeah? Uh, I don't know. I don't think he worked on this. It still has an original trans mount on it. <laughs> Couldn't have been you. No, it does because I worked at the dealership back in the day when he had this car, which means I got oh, dealership wow. parts. Wow. <clears throat> hey, Cameron, you want to do this? Oh, you seem like... Oh, no. Uh -uh. <laughs> been there, done that. Uh, Paul was making a dig at... Uh, I had one of those ball joint poppers uh, come out and hit me in the face. I think it was this side. There's still a little scar there. Internally. Yeah. <laughs> There's some PTSD there. Right, Evan? Yeah. Do I get out the supercharger oil? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got lucky. It popped both sides. What? <laughs> I did get lucky. Ew. That's how, that's how blown out it was. Yeah. Oh, you gonna be able to get it out? Bring it. I don't want that. It's dirty. Oh, I'd hate for you. Like I've dirt. never been dirty before. I'd hate for you to get dirt on you. Uh, Thanks. See, he's looking out for me. Yeah. This is the kind of employees you need. So yeah, it got all Mercedes-Benz parts, but like I said, it's what, a very, very 12, 13 ago. years since I saw the car, since he owned it. it sold in Virginia? No, he sold it out of uh, hold Georgia. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I've got a Carfax for this car. Yeah, he sold it out of Georgia. Let's see. E420. Nine owners. Are you serious? Originally from Texas. Went to Alabama. Oh, Atlanta, Georgia in 2008. Yeah. Gainesville. Commerce, and then South Carolina. Would 2008 have been his uh, it ownership been his. period yeah. in Atlanta? Yeah, how many years did it say? Um, it says it was purchased in Georgia in 08. New owner in Gainesville in 2010. That's not go, long enough. Didn't go to the next guy until maybe 2012, 2014. Yeah, still debatable. Ah, uh, debatable. I would. I thought he had it for longer than that. What is that? Parts. What kind of parts did we order this late in the day? So the trick is if you put a little bit of pressure on the ball joint, it'll keep the lock nut from spinning the ball and then it'll actually snug up. Uh, sometimes if you're not strong enough to Pole do jack it, works great too. you can use a screw jack. 
or even a jack stand. And then it gets a little bit of Loctite because it had it some blue on there to begin with. And then I'm like a lot of what Mercedes does where uh, the bolts come from the top down. This one doesn't have that opportunity. So that's why no. it's Loctite. Facebook list listing's gone, sorry. I was gonna see if that looked any better. It looked a lot better in those pictures than it did uh, when it showed up. That is uh, the beauty of buying a car sight unseen. The seat wasn't ripped. The paint didn't look nearly like this. You could tell he put the, uh, the pictures probably when he bought it. Yeah. And uh, this is how it showed up. But for 800 bucks, what can you, can you really complain? Cross thread's a tight thread. <laughs> Better than Loctite. It is. Oh, and you're gonna put the dust shield back on? Yeah, but I think it's... The heat shield, sorry. Yeah. Screw it. It'll go down the road. It'll go down the road. You need a steering shock anyway. Yeah, see, put it we'll, back on we'll be back. See. Let's check our repair. It's, it's uh, better, but you still need all arm bushings. Something over there. Yeah. Should probably get a couple tie rods, too. Yeah, hey, I just wanted to make sure it didn't fall apart. Yeah, you're safe-ish. Because it, it was pretty bad. We'll toss a battery in it and uh, we'll be ready to go. Yeah, let me clean out that little area down there real quick. Yeah, that's a little crusty, isn't it? Yeah, what's that plug hanging out of there, Paul? Uh, old telly aid maybe? Ooh. Ooh. There's no like calling card that said this was the car you worked on. There's no like Paul was here or anything. That would be the trick. I need to start. Writing little love notes to myself. Is that like the one under the 642 oil coolers to be like, ha, back again? <laughs> <laughs> I may have done that once or twice. The rear mains are the real fun ones. So there is a drain underneath the battery here and, uh, uh, sorry, a weep hole rather. And uh, if it gets corroded with crap and leaves like this here, it'll collect water and moisture and sit there and rot that uh, battery tray out. And, uh, that panel's no longer available, and if that goes away, your battery doesn't have anywhere to sit anymore, which means that'll drop out. So it's good to make sure that's good and clean, and then we're actually going to come back and treat it with some uh, rust converter and uh, hope that it stops or slows down the rust. It's also a good thing to sometimes pop these out and get in behind here because it does occasionally rust. And then these guys actually have rubber that's supposed to be on it. It's not just supposed to be aluminum like that. And it'll, it's a uh, trunk bump stops. So if you get a loud thud when you shut your trunk, a lot of times that's what it is. Now you can see here the old gasket, you know, it's just disintegrated utterly. So, but actually, <clears throat> if you look down in here, you get the uh, little grommet and you're supposed to run a battery vent through that little hole down there, and that helps with the off-gassing of your battery, so that over time, that doesn't off-gas into your trunk and rot that same battery tray out. <clears throat> so it's a very good idea to do that, even if it doesn't have it. Yeah. I'm actually gonna come back and do that vent like I was talking about, just because I don't have anything to do it with here. <clears throat> DC Motor Works license plates, courtesy of Celebrity Machines, which is our good friend Travis Bell, and uh, we're very appreciative of, of him for making these for us. And uh, we've been thinking about putting these up on like a merch page. If you're interested in one, let us know below, and maybe we'll do something fun like that. So this would be a great car for somebody who's getting into Mercedes Benz and wants to learn, you know, the uh, odds and ends of them. Uh, it'll never be nice enough to be anything super special, but it is, you know, still really neat, you know, 119, 124. So it'll get down the road, it'll have good highway power. Um, they're smooth, they're torquey, and it having an old steering box in it, it actually makes it feel really fun. Um, with the Bilsteins and the H&Rs, it makes it more nimble. And then it also got a 500E sway bar. 
So that actually stiffened it up just a little bit more from the E420 uh, variant. Um, so yeah, yeah, I mean, the, the real trick is a 124 with a um, six liter. Yeah. yeah, so this car actually, um, yeah. the gentleman who owned it before, uh, well, a while ago, he had a black 124 400E and the interior is pretty nice in the 400. So one day in his garage, we parked them next to each other and stole everything out of one and put it in this one. And so that's why it's got the gray carpet and, you know, black accents and then a suede ceiling um, or headliner rather. <clears throat> yeah, if this isn't his, Tony's gonna you, bro. Did it have the wood steering wheel with him? It, I mean, it had that steering wheel. It was nicer. Look at that, fire's right up. Oh, let me hit your uh, trunk seal with some silicone spray so that maybe it won't stick as bad. Nothing like putting silicone spray on a seal uh, that isn't I there. Think, I think that was a, a fool's errand. Well, the, when I went to go pop it, the reason why it was fighting me so much was that it was stuck so hard that even though I was releasing it by pushing in on it, I had to pull up pretty darn hard to get it to release. <laughs> Did I tighten that steering link? I don't remember. I did hear a clunk. Hold on, let me get a couple pictures of the inset. What? Let me snap a couple pictures for of the inset. Hey, would you like a uh, here, cameraman? We're gonna put on our merch page souvenir pieces of a uh, steering wheel clear coat. Would you like a piece, Paul? Nope. You wanna try? Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be fun. It's a little grumpy. Yeah. Oh, no. Put your hand. Hey, what? <laughs> Have a good time. Man, it was running Maybe good. Maybe give me an iced coffee. I think the uh, other one's gonna melt. Oof. I mean, right now you're sitting to where it's not gonna go in the screen, so. Maybe I should go on a flat surface. Maybe. Or do we push back in? Maybe push it back in. Boys! <laughs> Six liters, <laughs> <laughs> like a three liter, fellas. <laughs> <laughs>